What is up, everybody? So I'm just gonna make a quick little video going over the, like this Pokemon Go stuff. We're gonna be getting Dusmane Necrozma and Dawn Wings Necrozma, which will be kind of cool. Um, so we're gonna be having. So they're gonna be coming out for Go Fest 2024. So they're gonna be coming out for. Um, the th the the three in person go fests, and then the, the um the global, from what I've seen online. You uh you can fuse them with Solgaleo or Lunala, which is the different ones that we j I just talked about a second ago or said a second ago, and then you can also fuse them back. Um, I was seeing somewhere that if you get a better Necrozma, you could pot, or, uh, and you fuse it with your Solgaleo or Lunala, and your Solgaleo and Lunala are bad IVs, you, uh, or the IVs will stay whatever the Necrozma you caught is. So if you end up catching a Hundo Necrozma, and you fuse it with your, like, 10-10-10 Solgaleo or... Um, Lunala, those when it fuses will become a hundo. Same way with the shiny. If you get a shiny Necrozma, it'll come out to be the shiny form. Um, as, I mean, after you defuse, whatever wasn't shiny won't, you know, will not be shiny. The Necrozma will still stay shiny, but the Solgaleo Lunala will not. Just kind of cool. I like how this looks. So yeah, right here, so okay, Necrozma and Five Stars raids during the Global Go Fest. It'll also be just part of the other Go Fests. Um, Alright, so Dustmane Necrozma, which this is going to be the fusion with Solgaleo. You're going to get the move Steel, Sun Steel Strike. Which will give, which will do 135 in trainer battles. So this is PVP. Gyms and raids, it'll do, do 230 power. That's not too bad. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a steel type, a steel type move. So if you do end up getting this, and it is a steel type move, that'll be really good for for your fairy types, your ice types. I think your rock types I could be wrong. I know at least Fairy and Ice, this will be good against if it's Steel. And then the Dawn's Wing Necrozma, which this will be the Lunala Fusion. It's going to get Moon Geist Beam, which will do 130 power in PvP, 230 in Gyms. I'm not sure if this is going to be a Dark move, a Psychic move, a Ghost move. I'm not really sure. Um, something else that they are coming out with, which I'm not sure... I don't think I've seen it here. Alright, so the so it'll cost you a thousand solar energy and thirty necrozma candy and thirty cosmog candies to f fuse both of these each time you do it. So if anything, catch you a couple necrozmas. You know, fuse both of them. And then I guess we just we just wait until we get some more um, Cosmogs or something like that so we could get more Cosmogs. You know, and then you could just keep these as the fusions. You know, which it shows you that, like it shows you that you can fuse up here and then defuse down here, which is dope. Um, let's see, there should be another be another thing here. Is it this one? Did we, or is this the one we just looked at? This is the one we just looked at. So let me see this one. Because. Okay, so this isn't really. Newly discovered items. So we're going to be getting lunar and solar ener or fusion energy. Yeah, this just tells you where they're going to be. They'll be at the real-world locations and not the global. 
Um, so from what I've heard somewhere, we're, uh, both of these moves that I talked about down here, keep scrolling too fast, uh, both of these moves down here I heard about, so the steel, the sun steel strike will give you, if you use it as like the Palkia Dialga feature, a roar of time and, uh, spatial rend, these will be just like those if you use them. The Sun Steel Strike will give you daytime spawns, allow you to evolve into daytime evolution. So, like, if you have any mo or any mons that you know, you have to have either daylight or nighttime, you'll be able to use either one of these for what you need. The, st the Sun Steel Strike will be the daytime. While the moon geist beam will be the nighttime, and you can use these at any point in time of the day, from what I've heard. Like if it's if it's you know if it's midnight in your area and you decide you were going to use the sun steel strike, it should work as if it's daytime for you, and then vice versa. You know if it's noon for you, then the moon geist beam should still give you the the nighttime evolutions. They both also give you daytime spawns and nighttime spawns, depending if you use Sun Steel Strike or Moon, Ge Moon Geist Beam. You know, so that'll be something really cool to be looking forward to. You know, we'll see how you know, we'll have to see how all this looks when all the people um, do start Go Fest. I think it's at the beginning of next month. Go Fest starts, so Go Fest season is very, very close. Like. Next three months, we'll probably have like some kind of like Go Fest season or something again, like we did last year. Which hopefully this year, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be all about pay, pay, pay for everything. Which it's I know it already seems like it's kind of our that way, but hopefully something can even out and we can stop having to buy, buy, buy everything. Sendai, Madrid, and then New York. So uh, I do believe like Sendai is coming up here soon. Um, this is for the in person starting. Change level to earn solar energy or lunar energy by defeating Dust Main Necrozma. Or Dawn Wings Necrozma and Raid Battles are completing ticketed research tasks. So that's a, that's something interesting to see. So I guess if you have a ticket, it'll you'll get extra energy and stuff for this. Um, yeah, you know, like outside of that, it just really you know, we'll just have to just see what really happens with it. Hopefully, y'all have a good rest y'all's day, and I will catch you all later. Peace.